overnight uh, trend traded lower uh, below the close of yesterday and this is quite surprising for me I wasn't prepared uh, for that scenario to realize to be honest I thought that we uh, will get hi uh, higher after breaking above um, previous all-time highs but uh, I maybe underestimated the poor volume associated with uh, this uh, breakout and also uh, we are around uh, weekly mm, standard deviation higher so uh, as I mentioned earlier yesterday this area is going to be defended and it was yesterday uh, maybe it will be today F for now it looks like our uh, line in the sand is going to be slightly lower around 35 and we are going to open either with a small gap to the downside or within yesterday's range but uh, below value so if we uh, trade lower early on and we can reject the prices below overnight lows then I'd like to enter uh, long and get back at least to test this area um, overnight is a double distribution so mm, until we are within the lower part of it uh, lower prices are being accepted and those uh, prices are rejected with this being our excess high mm, slightly higher we have overnight high so we can trade a little bit higher today mm, but uh, well we we have to get through this uh, area and if we trade uh, right away and for example get back into this uh, not sure if I'm able to enter long maybe if we if we do something like this if we trend higher and then build some structure uh, so I could lean on on a pullback for example to view up and this this area then maybe uh, maybe it's okay to enter long to get back above uh, overnight high and uh, to value area high and then all time highs however if we reject those prices so if we trade higher early on I will be looking to fade mm, moves uh, that can uh, sustain above uh, 35 and then uh, to trade those references along the way uh, to the downside in if we trade higher early on and fail even to get there then I will be monitoring um, impulsive move to the downside uh, so I could enter on a pullback mm, to, to get low overnight low and lower if I don't get that pullback uh, within mm, overnight range then I'd like to see a stronger move below and then enter on a pullback with uh, volume building below overnight lows mm, I'm not sure how how to look on this week uh, last week uh, we had some fear in the market but uh, given this Friday uh, big recovery I think that more people were leaning towards uh, getting to new all-time highs than uh, to continue the selling so I think that if if someone is going to be hurt is uh, are those are going to be uh, the 
the traders who, who were hoping for uh, higher prices, so put sellers. Mm. And if that is the case, we might see some uh, liquidation late in the day. If I am wrong, uh, we can. And the uh, overall sentiment was uh, more bearish, so the call writers might might have been uh, piling on uh, writing calls above our previous all-time highs. And if we start squeezing those uh, prices, we might. Uh, see some bigger move uh, especially since here is our weekly um, IV band and we might get this attempt to uh, 30 for town I don't know why I did this uh, so yeah basically both scenarios are, are quite possible and third one is that we will balance out uh, this this move <laughs> so yeah pretty much everything is possible today